Greetings. So I've been dying to do this, so I want to share with you the process because I haven't really seen any really clear information on this. Here's my scenario, right? I go to a shop with an air hose that is very specific to the fit-ins that are there. So we have three fit-ins, right, that are fairly common. Take a look at them, All right? Uh, flip these around. Okay, maybe more like this. Okay, this is going to be automotive. This is industrial. That's really common. And then you have Arco. Or Argo. Uh, Argo? Argo, I think. That's that one. And I needed to find a solution that was going to solve my problem with, like, connect into all of those at the same time, right? At least on the female side. That would be this. And this is a uh, Milton High Flow. So I needed to have high flow and connect on all sides. All right, so that's the solution. That fits well with automotive. I'm sorry, that's industrial. Here's the automotive. It works with automotive. And it works with Ago. Okay. So we're going to have to build a small hose so we can attach to other things, right? Okay, let's see what we can do here. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is get a piece of our old hose. This is my, I've sacrificed this hose here because it's leaking pretty badly. All right. I'm going to make small little hose here like that long that we can have and use right, so we're going to use this uh, I got this tool a while ago to cut um, all it does is cut a so how long do we want it? Yeah, like that long. All it does is uh, use it to cut PVC pipe. Excellent. So that's all we're going to do, like that. So let's go ahead and put this together. Right, we need a couple things. We need this uh, for rule, that's for 3 8 that's what we're using. Okay, I'll put the parts in the description below. Now you can use this just to repair a hose that's broken. Let me use that. Set. So this process works for hose repair. Right. So we want to put that on there first, right? I'm sorry, I'm putting it on the wrong side. <laughs> oh, it's a long day. Okay, here we go. That goes on first. Okay. The barb goes inside, like that. That never happened. Okay. Now, here's a tricky part. We want to kind of clamp this down using this tool. This tool is about $200. So, you know, unless you're making a lot of these, no good. I'm going to figure out the right one to use. That's the problem. Right, so, so, they come in different diameters. I think this is the better one to use. I need to squeeze this down. So we get close to the neck. Not too, too close, but close enough, right? So this is the biggest size. I think this should work. No, it's too loose. Let's go to this size.
do you think? Think that'll work? Hmm. Can we go down on this size? So, so they're numbered. Uh, I could also see it too. What if we can go like this? Just get a little extra squeeze me on the back part right here. It's looking good. Almost there. Okay. That looks like a nice tight squeeze on that. Alright, let's do the other side. Right. So the other side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to want these uh, ferrule. We've got a ferrule. Put the ferrule on first. Put our barb connector in like that. Okay. Right, we'll squeeze away. Let's go from this. Let's go for this size right away. Start a little close to the neck. Yeah, the barb connector. So this doesn't look like the uh, super nice, good looking finishes I usually see. So here's an example. See how tight that is? Yeah, I think this is going to leak. What do you think? Yeah, it's going to leak. I think it had potential. That's about it. Only potential. Right, okay. Well, let's try for what we start with, right? So you go like this. Right, you wanna... It's for it to squeeze. Hmm. Yeah, I can see it's not gonna work. It's gonna be able to squeeze all the way around. Like, one solid... Uniform... Squeezed... Thing. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. That's going to waste my time. Hmm. All right. Let's try this again. Let's cut. This side looks like it's going to work. Right. So let's do this. Let's get rid of this. Let's try it again. Gonna mess up a bit. This is the first time I'm doing this. So put that in, alright? So you have to learn. These might be too loose, I think. Probably need to get smaller. If I fail, you get to succeed. Okay, the reason why I say this one's probably gonna work is you can see it skulls all the way around, one constant squeeze. All right. So how did we do this? We started off big, like that. Right, is that what we did? Yeah, just kept on going down in size.
All right, what do you think that's gonna work? <laughs> mm, looks a little cheap to me. Anyway, let's give it a shot. If it doesn't work, well, you know, I'll have to do some stuff. So how about that presidential election, huh? In America. That's right. How about that? So when you took when you put this uh, tough on tape, I'm gonna go to the right because uh, this thread. When you tighten stuff, you turn to the right. Okay, so I wanna put one of these on here. side. Good news and bad news. This is a very similar, this high flow top is, see how wide that is compared to my widest would be this automotive. I mean, this doesn't fit on my, uh, on my air hose. So I'm gonna try to do something different. I'm gonna use this one from the other air hose that I, No longer use. just for testing purposes. At this moment you can just stop if you wanted to get an idea how to do this. That's all I was wanted to share with you is how to do this and what you would need. You can get a vice grip that's specifically designed to crush these things. It has only two sizes. So you can do that. the Teflon in the direction of the uh, the whatever the, the fastener screws into you know. so. and don't let it get to the top up there so you want it to bleed into a uh, air tool and clog it or anything like that be good. Okay. Right. Get it work? <laughs> it might leak everywhere. Let's see. All right. So here's a scenario. Here's our air hose. Well, that's. Good seal. In other words, I did a good job. Cool? You want to test it? 
Oh, let's test it. Let's grab an air tool. No, I mean, yeah, this right here. Awkward. That is great. All right, glad you liked it. All right, so that's the video. Hey, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. Let me know if this was a useful example. Um, tell your friends about it. All right, and uh, I'm glad I was able to share this with you. This is like a game changer, you know? So you can take this little short piece with you anywhere you go. And, uh, you know, you can find the most practical piece here that fits every 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 air hose female that they have whoever wherever you go and then this one will fit mostly anything or you can just change it out to something else that does get a head that does and then you don't have to change your air tools every time you just can flip this around and uh you know just take this with you all right cool i just wanted to show you this real simple real sweet and uh right to the point thanks again Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, comment. Let me know if there's something else we could have done better. All right, have a good day.